And in fact, there's something called a Semmelweis research, uh, Semmelweis, sorry, Semmelweis reflex in uh, psychology. Another word for this is truth is the first casualty of war. So the Semmelweis research, uh, Semmelweis reflex, sorry, reflex, can also be caused uh, truth is the first casualty of war. What is this reflex? Well, a reflex is something, of course, that you do automatically. You know, you touch something hot and you pull your hand away. It's a reflex. What is this Semmelweis reflex? Well, it's a psychological phenomenon. Uh, of rejecting new or novel ideas. So new or novel ideas are ten tend to be rejected out of hand without consideration. Uh, the Semmelweis reflex is rejection of anything that contradicts established norms, beliefs or paradigms of thought, even if the new ideas are well supported by the evidence. So what new ideas do we have? that are well supported by the evidence, but are somewhat inconsistent with previous thinking. Are these rejected a priori? If so, this is the Semmelweis reflex. This is the problem. Things are being rejected without consideration via the Semmelweis reflex. In the same way that the doctors of Semmelweis day reflexly rejected his ideas, causing innumerable deaths and suffering, so today... People have a Semmelweis reflex that rejects new ideas. Semmelweis's ideas were rejected and he was ridiculed and ostracised. So not only did, in Semmelweis's day, did they play the ball, his ideas, they also played the man as well. Both were attacked. And again, we see this so often these days. I've got friends and colleagues now. Not only are their ideas under attack which is fair enough, you can argue against ideas, but to attack the man or the woman for having those ideas, that's a dangerous slope. And it's one we're on at the moment. I've got friends and colleagues under severe threats at the moment because of their ideas. I've had death threats. Um, it's, uh, it's a serious matter. Serious matter. So many people conflate the idea with the individual. And Semmelweis suffered intellectually, his ideas were attacked, and personally he was attacked. Now, the Semmelweis reflex has been described as mob behaviour found amongst primates and larval hominids on underdeveloped planets in which a discovery of important, of, of, of scientific, of important scientific fact is punished. Now, this is a rather nice piece of writing. Uh, it's uh, Semmelweis reflexes, mob behaviour. So it's, it's the, the rule of the mob found amongst primitives, uh, uh, primates. So an, an insult to primates, of course. Primitive, uh, used, used in the context of uh, primitives there. Um, uh, Pre-human anthropoids and larval hominids. <laughs> now, that's a, so a very funny turn of phrase. Um, of course, a larva is uh, like, a, like a tadpole would be a larva of a frog, or, um, um, is that right, tadpoles and frogs, yeah, or, or, or uh, a caterpillar would become a, as the larva of a butterfly. Uh, so it's kind of saying that we are so primitive we, that human beings need to metamorphose into something else. So it's, uh, it's quite, a, quite a florid t turn of phrase. On underdeveloped planets... <laughs> in which a discovery of important uh, scientific fact is published. And that was uh, said by a Harvard psychologist called Timothy Leary, who you may have heard of from the Pink Floyd song. Timothy Leary is dead. No, 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 no. He's outside looking in. We're not going to go into uh, the psychedelic debate at the moment. Um, so, back to the Semmelweis reflex. So, people reject new ideas without considering the evidence in support of them. Um, and we get what's called belief perseverance. Established beliefs tend to persevere. I've always believed this. Nothing's going to change my mind. This is what I've said for the past 10 years and no nothing's going to change my mind about it. Uh, my mind's made up. I know the truth. 
this is the sort of belief perseverance fallacy that uh, Semmelweis and his or Semmelweis's uh, contemporaries were labouring under, and to an extent we labour under today, uh, suffer under today uh, as well. Common barriers to innovation and progress. So it's a barriers to innovation and progress. Right now, 